hello and welcome to another video of sap ABAP module for programming uh, lesson 3 in this lesson we will explore a screen painter first of all i would like to describe objective of this video uh, the participant the participant will be able to use the screen painter recognize the element list recognize field of attribute uh, work with the graphical editor and know its functions uh, first of all, screen painter. Uh, what is screen painter, and what are the uh, elements of it of screen painter? Um, screen painter has screen attributes, screen layout, feed attribute, and flow logic. The screen painter is used to maintain all the components of a screen. Checkboxes. Uh, Checkboxes are the important part of a screen whenever a user want to um, check uh, when we want to select multiple uh, multiple things like in our example uh, i'm describing here the course example if the user want to get course one two three uh, and four or any single course he would uh, like to uh, do a check box check on the single single field of course to create a checkbox in the full screen editor use the checkbox action to drag and drop the checkboxes where you would like them to appear I mean on the left side uh, we are seeing that the uh, field uh, shows for with a cross we have to select this icon and drag into the screen the checkbox will automatically be created a field list versus field attribute to maintain field attribute you can use the element list mean uh, if we want to maintain any field we have to maintain its attribute and these attributes can be found uh, from uh, the element list another way you can maintain field attribute is using the attribute push button on the screen uh, there is present uh, when we uh, we have to say single click on the field and then we have to uh, push the button of attribute uh, shows in uh, shows into the screen uh, editor and this will show the options um, where we can maintain the elements attribute and we can change the uh, attribute of any field like its name its name its length and so on as you are seeing in the screen we can maintain the different attributes of different fields uh, on a uh, on a single uh, on a single screen while after pushing the attribute button next graphical screen painter Graphical screen printer is activated by the following menu path when in the flow logic. You can find the graphical uh, screen, screen printer um, by using the utilities and then setting option into the menu. Then go to the tab called screen painter and check the graphical layout editor. As you can see on, on the top of the uh, top of the icon, there is present text like in our screen uh, academy awards is the uh, example of text secondly io template all the input output uh, all the input output field are our uh, io template check boxes as described previously uh, it is present cross icon then radio button uh, you also know the radio button what is radio button uh, when we have to select uh, only one choice uh, into the multiple uh, options we use radio button push button uh, you also familiar with this uh, object uh, when anything we and when we want to take action like submit sub next screen like submit and uh, save or uh, move to the next screen or to perform some action we use uh, push button in every programming 
or any screen programming language tab strip control when we want to create any tab we use tab strip control tab strip tab strip with wizard if you want to, to if you want that sap help uh, help you for creating a test tab strip you will uh, you use this option and uh, tab strip with wizard box frame if you, we want to put uh, the the combination of multiple objects like checkbox fields or anything uh, we uh, we gathered into a frame called box or frame sub screen area sub screen area um, mainly used uh, for uh, uh, mainly using is tab screen uh, mainly screen when we use uh, tabs on our screen or we use or we have to call any um, any screen from our uh, first screen we use sub screen next table control if you want to uh, show our fields in in the form of table we use table control and then table control with wizard if we want that sap help to create a table um, and we use this option table control with wizard then custom control and then status icon status icon mainly use uh, for the things uh, we want to uh, show we want to change the status like okay like uh, warning or like uh, traffic signals we use status icon graphical editor editing options here's an example of uh, how to use a screen printer to create a simple screen using a box text field input output field here we are creating a simple example um, of um, comprises of box and uh, text field and input output field here you can see we create we, uh, we get we put uh, in uh, text field and an input input field uh, input field input output field into the single box with a label box graphical element uh, first of all, the most uh, imp the most readable and most used uh, usable uh, element is called text fields. Like uh, students is our text field in this example, and the field in which the value will uh, be input or output is called input output template. Third one is radio button, as I as I uh, described previously. In multiple choice we have to uh, when we have to select only one we use radio button in multiple in four uh, four uh, four a uh, fourth element is our is check boxes as described as already uh, described that when we have to choose multiple options uh, we use um, we use the check boxes fifth one is frame box uh, frame box when we uh, when we gather different elements into a, a single box or when we when we put multiple options multiple options for radio button either uh, at is check boxes uh, we use box or frame element uh, last but not least push button push button is very important for any uh, any action we want to perform after the selection or after uh, after the input into the screen radio button here we can uh, here we can find the detail of radio button how to create it into the full screen editor um, uh, when when we have to create a radio button uh, we will go into the edit menu then we will select grouping then we will select radio button group and lastly, then we will select define. This is a, a one way to um, to to create our radio button, and the another uh, way is to just drag and drop from the from our left menu uh, to the screen where we want to create this. You will need to define them as a group in order to ensure that they are mutually exclusive. We have to 
defined into the group because if they are in group the the output will be a, a single if they are defined into the other group uh, the output of uh, the uh, the other group will be different and uh, the uh, the radio button functionality will be uh, will not work as we want in every radio button uh, requirement boxes and frames to create boxes and frames uh, and use the box icon to drag and drop the frame where we would like to we will only have to drag and drop the boxes uh, boxes are created with a title at the top of the box we each box will have any will have a single title at the top of the box um, any any title related to the elements uh, elements uh, into the box mm, we have to we should must give uh, uh, a meaningful a meaningful title to the box so then the user can easily understand what uh, what elements and what the type of elements and what the action and what the choices are related uh, are related to the uh, a screen and what related to the business or related to the requirement. Lastly, push button. To create push and push button, the use the push button icon. We will uh, use uh, just select the push button icon and drag into the screen wherever you want to. Like the most important thing is after creating push button, we have to give a, a function code as, uh, assigned to it. Uh, by using its property uh, property palette uh, we will uh, uh, we will have to give it function code like uh, in our example i am giving e and uh, r l into the fct code field uh, so the e n r l uh, is the um, is a function code of it scrollable field scrollable field is also uh, an important part of uh, any screen uh, some screen uh, has uh, the little lamp little length in the screen but it has uh, uh, it has the data uh, larger than it has the data larger than the uh, screen field so for this field we use scrollable field like in your example description structure and then description so the third one description is uh, need many uh, uh, need uh, greater length or uh, more length than the description than the description first so we use this callable field and uh, maintain all the um, all the input from user into the scrollable field Scrollable field have visible length that is smaller than the defined length. These length are attribute of field. Using search help, if you if you assign a search help to an input output template, you will see a drop down arrow to get a list of possible values. In short, in easy way, any anything any input field which have defined value. Or which you want, uh, or which or those or those values you want to, uh, you want to show, uh, you want to give help uh, to the user for uh, give his input easily. We you we give uh, an option to the user of search help. When the user press F4 into the screen, uh, the list of possible values or list of uh, uh, related uh, related values which will be um, which must be entered into the screen field automatically show and this list uh, this list uh, will show uh, will show the related values by using the search help option we bind and search help to this field so that when the user press f4 it easily get the related values and selected. In our example, we give us a list of values uh, using search help uh, into the field structure. So, 
in our uh, in our example there there are only five instructor present in the system so the user uh, select Dennis Magri for the for this uh, for the instructor of this subject search help is an attribute of a field it can only be used on input output templates so uh, viewers uh, do the demonstration do the exercise uh, like this create a screen using a different element of the screen printer to display the student profile or university testing the screen and fit on the screen printer you should practice also uh, creating an employee profile of a company testing the screen using f8 on the screen printer now if we summarize our video we will uh, we 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 know uh, these point identically the screen printer is used to maintain all component of a screen to maintain field attribute you can use element list another way you can maintain field attribute is using the attribute push button this option you can maintain all the attribute of one particular field on the screen at a time. The graphical screen printer is activated by the following menu path when a flow logic utility setting go to the tab called screen printer and check the graphical layout editor box. To create a radio button in the full screen editor, use the radio button icon to drag and drop the radio button wherever you are want to appear. Mm, this radio button you will need to define them as a group in order to ensure that they are mutually exclusive. To create a checkbox in the full screen editor, use the checkbox accent to drag and drop to the uh, drag and drop the checkboxes where you would like them to appear. To create a box in the full screen editor, use the box icon to drag and drop box where you would like it to appear. Boxes are created with a title at the top of the box. To create a push, push button in the full screen editor, use the push button icon to drag and drop the push button where you would like to, it to appear. Input output templates that are character based that is a type decimal integer one integer two integer four times that count or or curve can be made into scorable feeds an input output template can be given a search help to have a display of possible values so user hope you learn a lot of things hope you get clarified concept regarding uh, a screen printer uh, let's meet into the another another interesting video uh, bye for now thank you